What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn what the yield from statement does in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so this is going to be a pretty short video today. We're going to learn about the yield from statement in Python, what it does and how to use it. Now, for those of you who don't know what the yield keyword does in the first place, it's a keyword used in generators to produce values, to generate values, or as the keyword says, to yield values. You can maybe compare it to a return statement, but it's not quite the same because it produces values on demand here. Now, let's look at a simple example. Let's say we have a function generator and this function has a couple of yield statements in it. So yield one, yield two, and maybe something like yield hello world, you can put any Python object here, basically. Now, what we can do is we can create this generator, we can say gen equals generator. And then we can get the next value from the generator on demand. So we can request the next value, or we can also iterate over it and automatically request the next value. So I can do something like print next gen. And this is going to give me a one because that's the first yield statement here. And if I do it three times, I'm going to get one, two, and hello world. If I do it another time, I'm going to get uh, a stop iteration exception. There you go, because there are no longer any values that are yielded. And of course, this can be done in different ways. We can do things like for i in range 10, you can yield i, this also works, then I'm going to get one, two, hell world zero, one, two, three, and so on. I can also add conditions. But that's the basic idea. We have this generator function and the yield statements are uh, producing values one after the other. And this makes sense in a couple of use cases if you want to basically have the values on demand, as I said. Now, what does the yield from keyword do here? What does it mean to go and say yield from and then something after it? This is a Python statement, a Python keyword combination that does something. So what can we do here? Now, what we can do here is we can basically pass any iterable. So in a most simple way here, I can just go ahead and say yield from one, two, three, four, five. So let's delete all of this. This is a possible thing. In this case, I will just yield the values from this collection. So I would get these numbers here. And I would yield them one after the other one, two, three, four, five. But usually what you want to do is you want to have a generator and you want to have another generator function that yields values from a generator that we have defined before. So I can have here uh, def other generator. And let's say up here I have I don't know, yield one, yield two, yield three. Then in this other generator function here, what I can do is I can yield my own values, I can yield something like hello world. And I can also yield something like goodbye. And in between, I might want to yield the values, all the values from generator. So what I can do here is I can say yield from generator. And this is, of course, nice, because an alternative way to write that if you don't use yield from is to say for value in generator yield value. So that's basically the functionality here, instead of having to write this explicitly as a loop, instead of iterating actively over the generator, we can write a simple short form, we can say yield from generator, and that has the same effect. Um, in this case, of course, we need to say other generator, then we're going to get hello world one, two, three. And if I add one more here, we're going to also get goodbye. That's the basic idea here. Now, you need to consider that everything you pass here after a yield from statement will be treated as an iterable, it will be iterated over, which means that some things that are not necessarily lists can still be treated as iterables. If you just yield hello world, you're going to get hello world. If you yield from hello world, hello world is considered an iterable, which it is every string is an iterable. So what we can do here is we can yield the individual letters. So what happens here basically, is you get H E L L and so on. And of course, you don't have to do it like this, you can also iterate over the generator, you can say for uh, value in gen print value. Then you get all the values, but this is how the string is yielded if you use a yield from because it's considered to be an iterable. 
So yeah, that's basically it. This is just a short way of yielding from iterables. This can be, as I said, a generator, a string, a list, whatever, anything that's iterable can be yielded with yield from. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.